what is good everybody hello all you happy people it's your boy favorite sin and i want to do a reaction a video you know what i'm saying I, I was perusing the youtube space and i figured you know what's good what's good what's good and i saw a video that piqued my interest now the video was about someone i know a little a little of just just i don't i don't know too much of this person but I do, I, at least I have heard of the the people, the company that they uh, they be with, the company they're assigned to, or there's whatever they're assigned to. Let me just let me just let me show you. Let me show you. Today we're gonna be reacting to why Playboy Max will soon become a nightmare. That's the wrong video. That's that's the wrong scene. Wait, give, give me a second. Well, soon we're gonna react to why play Playboy Max will soon become a nightmare for Faze, and you know I was like, hold up, what's what's he been up to? What's because 2024 has been a crazy year already. I mean, you know what's happening with Diddy. You know what I'm saying? There's then you know what happened with Doctor Disrespect. You know what's been happening with Mr. Beast and uh, Ava Tyson. With Jack Dotery, with Giant Somali, well, most of the names I named aren't aren't ju are just like genuinely not good people. But you know what's been happening in 2024. So I figured, what is going on with the Phase Group? Why is Playboy Max a might become a nightmare for Phase? All right, so let's let's just let's check it out. Let's 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 see what's good, see what's great, see what's going on. No hate. Maybe. Why do you have baby oil? Why do you have a whole thing of baby oil? Bro is on some Diddy shit. Look already. He's got. He's on some Diddy shit. Come, please get out your head, please. <laughs> <laughs> Next step, though, please. Nigga, what? There you go. There you go. She not that drunk. <laughs> oh no! Ah! Ah, don't clip that! Don't clip that! Don't clip that! I'm going for an hour straight on some sicko. I'm going for Wilt numbers. The lingo they use, they're making it cool to mask. I goon, I'm gooning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what like... it means. Gooning means no? Yes. Technically, 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 gooning is like, well, as a, apparently, apparently, it's like not just jerking it, but it's like jerking it into the point where you almost, and then you stop, and then you keep going, and then you almost, and then you start, it's like, it's like edging, I think, from what I know. But it doesn't make it a good thing. It's, it's, it's still a WCF type of thing, you feel me? Wait, wrong scene. I, I switched up my, my shit, and so I'm trying to, like, I'm adjusting. Give me time. Let me move this over here. Okay, there we go. It's fun that generational gap right here dad i know you're in here i'm sorry but i went on an all-time spank session today ever since black boy max was introduced to the phase black clan boy? in april of 2024 oh it's been black boy the entire time i thought it was playboy <laughs> oh shit oops hasn't came without its fair share of controversies. From the moment his announcement video was released it portrayed the signing as a really big deal okay we have visitors visitors we could just use this fat bag of bread I brought. Oh my god. After Wait, why is the why go with the like the the video uh, that announcing his his uh signing? Why go with him being in prison? Like the only people that I see use that type of uh that type of atmosphere for just showing things or for like announcements or for random shit the only type of people i see that are using that are black people that haven't been in prison it's like what's the point of this like even with kai Snat doing the prison stream no one else has done that shit and why but why does kai have to do it and if if anybody was going to do, going to do it why is that be a black person? Like we know that we know sh other shit. We know other. We we have experienced other things in our life as a community than just prison. Why is everybody trying to glorify that shit? 
Man, that shit pisses me off, bruh. After nearly going bankrupt in 2023, FaZe Clan remains in a precarious position, prompting FaZe Banks to bring on influencers like Jason Ween, Silky, Rage, Lacey, and Stable Ronaldo to elevate their content as their clip farming tactic of going viral began dominating the internet. And FaZe Banks decided to do this without even taking a cut of their revenues. We pay all the new members zero dollars to yep. be a part of this. We don't touch any of their revenues. We're here trying to elevate these kids and invest in these kids. That's the relationship because the model just simply doesn't work. But what happens when they introduce a man who's willing to go to extreme lengths to give his audience his authentic self? And what course of events transpire when you're willing to say and do out of pocket sh no matter the consequences? Well, that's exactly what one of their newest signees, Black Boy Max, represents. He said you have no shame. If anybody's ever been willing to do anything with no consequences, you know it's a bad sign. Because it's like... They're... They're even willing to like end up breaking the law in ways that could get the entire company in trouble. As long as, it, as long as they think it'll get them views, and as long as they think it'll get them noticed, and, you know, clout. Nah, bro, bro, we all live crazy lives. I'm just willing to share it. And from the looks of it, FaZe might want to reconsider their collaboration with him, because it only seems like it's going to get worse from here. Before becoming an internet personality, Blackboy Max dreamed of being a pro basketball player, but knowing mm. that most likely wouldn't happen for a man who stands 5 foot 9 inches tall, God, he pivoted oh, wait, to only... content creation with his friend <laughs> bro, group. Bro, I'm about to say 5 foot? God damn! <laughs> but nah, uh, I'm five ten, so I was like, he's like an inch shorter than me, so I was like, all right, okay, I see. But but it's still like, why why is dreams of being a, a basketball star at five foot nine something that he, he couldn't achieve? I mean, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of uh five uh people that are play basketball, pro basketball that are five nine and under. Let me let me check. Let me check. Um. Pro basketball players under 5'10. 5 10. 5 feet 10 inches. Who are the shortest NBA players? Full list of with height. Let's get it. Let me see. 5'9. Right there. As the Isaiah Thomas. 5, 10, 10, 10, 11, 6 feet. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. There's one. One pro basketball player that's 5'9", at least on that list. So he, the dream was still possible. Make it work. If Isaiah Thomas didn't give up on that shit, you can make it work. You could, you could have, like, made it work. He must have had people, like, whispering in his ear, like, bro, you're too short for basketball. You're not even 6 feet. Blah, 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 blah. Just give up on this shit. I hate it when people tell other people to give up on their dreams because one thing that I I want to influence, one thing that I, one thing that I want to be known for is influencing people to follow their dreams responsibly. And so I hate it when people tell others to give up on their dreams because of blah 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 blah. I hate that shit, man. That's not that's not cool. By the name of the Basement Boys, doing public interviews, freestyles, and challenges alongside his IRL channel. Max Touches Grass, he gained recognition for his music on YouTube, repping his crew 5 Star, while feuding with creators like Jace, Bruce Drop Em Off, and DDG. He even dropped multiple diss tracks, including one where he accused Keemstar of being into underage girls. Hey, yo. And his 40 still alert and Twitter knows. Kim is still in love with minors. Please alert the middle schools. When he wasn't rapping or reacting. Okay, okay. If there's any career you should have given up on, it's rapping. Like, I haven't heard the full diss tracks or nothing, but from what I just heard, it seems like he has trouble writing the beat. You feel me? Into content, Max, who has claimed that he was inspired to stream by Aiden Ross, followed his formula with sus behavior that has led to constant debate over whether he's a part of the LGBTQ community. I used to be super gay. My chat was super gay. Now we just be chilling and be making jokes and be funny. And obviously I be tooting that shit some. <laughs> God, that nigga cute, and I know it's long. Oh, I was a eater. I've always been a eater. I clicked it. I clicked the profile of the net, and I'm staring. Did this nigga get a perm or some shit? I pixel them, and the neck near look better than the bit. 
When it comes to being sus, Max is known for being overly touchy, especially when it comes to the streamer and fellow FaZe member, Your Rage. I swear to God, I just saw Max ass. I swear, to, I just saw Max ass. I just saw Max. Max just came in my room and showed me his ass. Max just came in my room and spread his ass cheeks. I just saw Max hairy ass butt. What the f? I just saw Max's hairy ass. But that's not the only reason why Max is a controversial figure. Over the years, he's proven that he's an intensely sexually charged individual. Isn't this the same person that ended up complaining that the internet thinks he's gay and he's in he's on all these all these like uh homosexual NSFW type of shit because of the internet? And it's like, well, no wonder they think that because you have that background of show of tell, saying that you're that, of showing yourself that you're that of he's not showing exactly showing showing but like saying that you're that um so telling the uh appearing giving that appearance and that persona of being that of course of course like the internet's gonna be like oh this nigga gay or at least bi and then they're just gonna put you in those type of that ca that category why would you why, you can't complain about that shit when you're the reason behind it in ways that often lead to chaos. Over time, he has divulged some of the craziest stories anyone would ever utter on stream. And let's just say he's fuck? lucky he's successful with streaming, because with this kind of digital footprint out there, there's no way he could work a regular 9 to 5. For those unfamiliar, Max is notorious in the streaming world for basically being the most horniest streamer. Dad, I know you're in here. I'm sorry, but I went on an all-time spank session today. The things the that they do to get a nut off. I think I their ate her on her period one time. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I put in his mouth, so be careful, bro. Now, mind you, I probably still would have kissed her, but no, but look, though, no. bro, I'm just being honest, bro. Max's content mainly centers around saying out of pocket and often freaky shit on his stream. And in layman's terms, this man really does have a sex problem. I mean, just look at the way he reacts when he got flashed by an OF model on one of his streams. Can I have some time with Lana real quick? Yes. You're wild. Can y'all, yeah, can y'all get out? <laughs> Bye, chat. No, look, bro, the old me would probably be on some shit like, the old me would be on some shit like, oh, yeah, titty. <laughs> bro, you see how it just sexualized their body? Bro, she putting her titty on titty. Bro, I didn't want to see that. Yo, guys, I'm letting y'all know right now, there's D. Nah, bro, she probably did that for you because she kind of knew what kind of time you were on, or at least used to be on, that at least that was the image she had of you in her mind. That's probably why she did that. She didn't expect you to be to be like, yo, uh, oh, b -b -b Giddy, can you leave? Can y'all leave for now? Women's out here, bro. That's trying to fuck you up. Then you go check it. The lengths this man is willing to go to for women is insane. And at one point, he even admitted that it's pretty much an addiction that he cannot control. I guess mad distractions, like, bro, I come across a bad bitch. I could just be watching basketball clips. I scroll on a bad bitch on TikTok. I'm watching her shake her tits. Because who I came across was Lexi too legit today. Normally, right now, I probably get, I catch a hard one and then I take my talents to Batty Hub, but I'm sitting there thinking, like, yo, this lady has control over me through a fucking phone. And when it's not about women, his antics still go overboard. Like the time he got the entire FaZe clan evicted from their home after a live stream for what he did. But I'll get to that later in the video. From talking about covering his nose when he gave one girl back shots because her pussy smelled. When she got in that, when she presumed position, back shots, best believe I was like, I swear to God. I've never had to do that in my life. Gang, I'm doing the t-shirt pull up. I'm like that. And even claiming he would eat a girl's box while she's on her period. The things that they do to get a nut off. I think I did her ate her on her period one time. Max was also never hesitant to express his habitual nature to quote unquote goon. Dad, I know you're in here. I'm sorry, but I went on an all time spank session today. I'm talking about I beat my meat to sleep. I woke up beat. What you know the how fuck? I wake and bake? I wake and beat. It was a different type of day. I was, I don't know why. And it is low key the most I slept in all time, like ever. Like I spank my shit a record amount of times, bro. Real shit. I say probably like gotta be like six to seven times in the course of like, I don't know, bro different levels pro gooner while fans love it for the most part some are disappointed at how much nasty, he has bro. played into the role of being overly horny all the time and some insinuate that he's only doing it for views he used to be a normal person for real of course he's doing it for, you have to you have to in order to get like views like i wouldn't be surprised if he's doing it for views because in order to get views these days you have to be on some other type of shit. you have to be wild and out you know what i'm saying you have to be something that people will look at and be like, what the fuck? But stay interested in. 
because yeah, people kids uh, people have such short intention spans these days that if you're just chilling enjoying life and um streaming people might hop in your streams every now and then sell you try to sell you some shit i hate the motherfuckers but they ain't gonna stick around they just like all right well he all right he's not he's not wilding out he's not going crazy he's not um fucking I don't, I don't know whatever whatever the terminology is when you when you just like lose it and throw shit around and rage or whatever he's not doing that so i'm gonna go find someone else that's doing that so you have to have some type of i don't want to say persona but you have to have some type of uh character i guess persona character about you that people will be like oh this is the really horny nigga that like so that's why he he acts like that. That's why he uh went off with the gay shit like uh like Aiden did like Aiden was for a bit. Because it was getting views. It was getting like people's attention. Like the sus shit. Like that's why there's this whole zesty nigga apocalypse. There's a video, Zesty Nigga Apocalypse. And all of them are pretty much still getting some type of viewer view, viewership. It, I mean they were before, but they Got, they gain more viewers because uh, of their zesty attitudes and shit like that. So, like, if you're not trying to, you know, make it, you're not, if you're not trying to be bigger than life in a crazy type of way, then nobody's going to be interested and you're not going to get too many views. That's how it is right now. Real. I guess fame changes people. Used to watch him when he wasn't that big of a streamer. Death fell off even though his numbers went up. Mr. Old Max. Among being banned three times on Twitch, one of which was for being quote unquote searching for an adult actor online and ended up showcasing inappropriate content on his stream, sometimes Max can really cross the line with his horniness. And it can lead to feuds with other streamers, such as Convy. After saying that he wanted to f his aunt, who was a famous model, the two got into a heated back and forth where threats were exchanged at one point infamously known for this is what i'm talking about it, okay this is what i'm talking about when what's, what's something what's a, di a different situation let me explain with of models if they're if when they have kids and their kids go to school like the the disses are going to be on another level than it was from when i was in like little when i was little and going to school like Niggas, niggas gonna be like, um, took, I, I took your juice because you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, well, at least my mom ain't an OnlyFans model. At least my mom ain't showing her pussy online for $5 and a, a, a pop. Fuck you. And it's like, damn, it's gonna be over with. And that's why these two got in our fight. Hey, your mom's an OF model? Shit, I'm trying to fuck. Does she do content with, with other niggas? Shit, I'm trying to be in that content. Like it's it's obviously that mom, his aunt, or whatever. Like like of course he's gonna get mad because what but what do you expect? Your aunt does OF content. Like shit. <laughs> Nobody cares. Nobody cares how he's gonna feel. I don't care how he feels. Your aunt does OF content. That's I know that ain't his fault, but she don't give a shit about you. Why do you care about what people say about her? for slapping the island boys during one of his streams, Convy is not the one to back down from a fight. But Max didn't care, and he went all out, dissing Convy's aunt in his music video, Man of Steel 2, where he rapped, I'm the man with steel, where your aunt, she is slay, she be in the field. After Convy, again, the one thing he should probably give up, but he, he, go back to basketball, go back to basketball. The music, learn to if you're gonna do music you gotta learn to ride the beat make a make it flow that's why people call call it flow you know what i'm saying like that there's a there's literally a, a movie called hustle and flow you gotta flow with the beat you can't like offered threats to max you would think that he would back down but instead this man hopped on Instagram Live with Convy's aunt, before then somehow convincing her oh, to shit. post a video online where she twerked to his diss track. Bruh. This is only scratching the surface Bruh. of the drama that Max brings into his world, especially when it comes to targeting another man's woman. His altercation- See? Like, like, like I said before, 
your aunt doesn't give a shit about you, even though she does, oh, because she does OF and she's like that. Why does he care what, what people say about his aunt? You know what I'm saying? He got all defensive for no reason. Your aunt doesn't give a shit about her, her own self and about, pe about what people uh, say to him about her, about her. Like her aunt, her aunt doesn't respect herself. Why should anybody else respect her? with Convy was nothing compared to the time he played a one-on-one -on -one basketball game against the boyfriend of popular Twitch streamer Kenny Rossi, with the stakes being a date with her, where Max seemed completely unhinged throughout. Not only did he title the video Petite Light Skin Dominates Mexican Lady like it was something you'd find on the hub, but he also relentlessly dissed her boyfriend the entire time. He is here to play Connie boyfriend and for me to finally win over this as after that, I'm gonna put her on a lie detector test. We gonna ask, oh, who you like more, me or boyfriend? She gonna say her boyfriend. The test gonna come back negative. Aaron, Connie. When the time came for the game, Max knew he had him cornered. Every player gotta agree to the terms. If I win, you make a song about me. If you win, then I'll take you guys. I'll pay for your, your food. <laughs> Why would you want him to make a song about you? Like, have you heard his songs? <laughs> oh! Oh! We got him, man. Hey, look, let me tell y'all like this. Y'all see the look on his face. I'm perplexed. I just said, if I beat your dirt in a game of basketball, I got to take your I just said that. And what's his response? Make a song about me. Make a song about me, you gay ass. You are a moke. And this is what I'm saying. This is when I know I got him because I realized he really liked boys. So Connie offered me, man. Don't you? Apparently, and according to everything you've been putting out. This is really for, for the taking, bro. All I got to do is win this 1v1. Eventually, Max would actually go on to win the one-on-one. -on -one. Do you know what this me? You. Right. Me. You. Me. I'm not happy. What the f How you feel, bro? I feel disappointed. What? Disappointed? I have to go on a date with what that the guy. What? Yo, y'all hear this, man? I'm God. disappointed. I have to be on a date for like at least 30 minutes with Max face to face. That's the best thing that happened to you. Proving once and for all that his brain has been melted by adult films, Max insisted on calling her man a cuck while he paid for their food. And for Max, this was the biggest win imaginable. Now, for some reason, the audio really f***ed up. But, so y'all won't be able to hear the combo, but let me just tell y'all this, man. This is the realest nick that I ever done did in Went my to life. Went Kings. What is more real than the nick out? I get nick out, man. The only realer thing I could have did was take the But I'm not really, I'm not into shit like that. That Let's be real. Let's be real, because that's not real. That's not real. Like, niggas gonna be like, oh, yeah, it's a flex. It's not real. Let's, let's, let's be honest. Like, obviously, people only idolize that kind of shit because they put it in their, in, they put it in music, they put it in movies, shit like that. They put it, you know, out there. But it's not real, to be honest. What's real is like what my homie said to me one day when I was, uh, when I was dating this one chick. He was like, hey, yo. If she ever, you know what I'm saying? If she ever, if she ever tries to hit on me, I'm going to fuck. But I'll let you know afterwards. That's what's real. And that's like, all right, cool. He wasn't trying, he, it's not, he wasn't trying to like make a move on her. But he's, he was like, yo, if she ever makes a move on me, I'm going to fuck, but I'm going to let you know afterwards that you're dealing with a hoe. It's not real to be like, oh yeah, I took someone else's bitch because, <laughs> because cause I won a basketball game. That's real. Oh my God, I'm so real for winning a basketball game and, and one of the parts of the bet was taking a nigga's bitch. It's not real. It's like, all right, if you, you want to bet, cool, congratulations. You gotta go deal with this chick, this chick for how long? All right. Why can't you get your own bitch? You having problems with my guy? Damn, son. Ooh, that's, that's tough. So this is why I'm telling y'all, man, I really feel like this is the most successful day of my higher entire life. You see, we vibing. She's staring into my eyes, man. This is love at first 
She looks angry. She looks like she doesn't want to deal Eventually, with you. Candy and her boyfriend would break up, and Max would go extra lengths to get some from her. But most of the time, she wasn't buying it. And as Candy started making regular appearances on his stream, Max would get more and more desperate the more that she rejected him. It's not right or wrong here. But if you want to get Connie, please can I get ahead, please. <laughs> Next step though, please, please. But Max's tendency to go after other men's women is nothing new for him. In fact, in another stream, he even tried hit. If he had to go other, if he had to go after other men's women, it, it feels like, it, it feels sad. You know what I'm saying? If you're the one chasing other men's women, it should feel sad. Like, because it's like, you can't get women by yourself. Now, if other, if other men's women are just trying to go after you, that's that's a bit different because it's like, all right, well, ho, ho gonna be a ho. Like, if you have to go after other people's women, it's it's like, like nigga, wh why? Like, you, you can't get one yourself, but you, I bet you feel good because I bet you feel good if you can get something from that woman who's likely a ho to begin with. Like, you 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 that bad at picking up chicks? Like, you can't just pick game? It's like you you ain't got no risk. The fuck? Hitting on a married woman. So let's say, let's say you told your husband, oh, I want to have sex with uh, Maxwell right here. What would he feel? How would he feel about that? He'd be like, amazing, if that's what you want to do. Have a great time. Oh, I've been in a situation like this before. Okay, no, yeah. This is something that Kenny herself confronted Max about, which left him speechless. How come I've never had intercourse with you? Because you, you, you don't even, you don't even Aaron. <laughs> Yo, you don't even Aaron. Like, this is what I'm saying, though. How do you know that? Bro, like, chill, bro, chill, chill. I just know, though. I just know, though. And honestly, it's because, you know, we're taking baby steps. Like, we just didn't get there yet. You know what I'm saying? You don't even take baby steps with the other women you want to always be with. Or you end up being with. Temporary. And she has a point. As Max is no stranger to live in a promiscuous lifestyle, to the point that it's flat out disrespectful to the women he talks to. In one stream, he called one of his side hoes while in bed with another girl. Answer. Yeah. What's up? Hold on. I'm gonna FaceTime you real quick. What's up? Ah, uh, that's the friend. Ah, uh, what's up? I'm with a girl, buddy. Who are you with? Yeah. You said who I'm with? Yeah. I'm with the walls and shit. You know, they nice. And ceilings. Let me see. Huh. I'm not playing with you. Let me see your surroundings. I'm showing you the room. <laughs> Let me see your surroundings. Now, you can imagine the chaos that would erupt if he ever turned this behavior towards one of his friend's girlfriends. I mean, even Drake and Future, who were once close friends and made millions of dollars working together, had their entire friendship fall apart after Drake allegedly pillow talked with one of Future's girls. And when it comes to women, Max and Drake aren't too far apart in their tendencies. Now, in an era where FaZe was still answering to stockholders, then this might have been a problem. But this is one of the things that fans have loved the most about him from the jump. Recently, after 100 days of streaming, he managed to make a major impact on Twitch and established a major following. The craziest thing about Max's come up is that he manifested it himself. After starting his solo journey in 2021, he outlined where he was at. And within three years, he went from having nine Twitch followers to 1.1 million in his community. This so when FaZe decided congrats. to add him to their roster earlier this year, Max's supporters were ecstatic and felt like this was a culmination of all of his hard work and consistency over the years. Shortly after the news broke that Max had joined, he and a whole new crew moved into a house in Miami to crank out content. Since coming aboard with FaZe, Max has certainly been turning heads with his antics. At times, he's been his usual hilarious, down bad self. But one incident took down things bad. to a whole new level of drama. And it also demonstrates how bad it can get if Max doesn't figure out this addiction. During a wild night at the strip club with new members Silky and Lacey, Max found himself finessed by what he later described as quote unquote Caitlyn Jenner clones. After realizing one of the strippers might have been a guy on the low low, Max was left shocked and embarrassed. Yo, bro. I went in there, gang. We went in the room. If I was sober, I would have been good. Yo, gang, when we're waiting in line with Jeff Bezos and Jason's cousins, Bezos. she's twerking on me in line. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. This is not making no fucking sense. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Why is this? I tell the bitch on Maxwell, the bitch name was Noah. So I'm grabbing Noah T's. As I'm grabbing Noah T's, Shit feels fake, huh? I'm not gonna lie. Them motherfuckers was not real. I know what some real titties feel like. 
And that's why now that I'm thinking about it, I might have got a lap dance from a guy. Despite this revelation, Max still entertained the strippers. That is until he found out that he was being finessed for his money. I pay for both. You just figured that shit out? Like, what do you, why do you think strippers exist in the first place? Like, nigga. But if, if, if you can't control your own, if you don't have any self-control over, over your own sexual desires, then, then you're just a slave to your sexual desires. You're not even a real man. Like, bruh, you're just going to be used and used and used for everything you got. You ain't, gonna, like, you ain't ever going to amount to nothing. Like, you ain't ever going to really amount to being a real man if you, you can't even control your own desires and impulses, bruh. You feel me? So now they both are on top of me. I'm like, mm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I go to I go to back my piece out again. She goes, no, 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 no. I'm like, huh? No. <sighs> she said, we'll get fired if we in here. She said, oh, we really want to f bad. We want to f bad, but we can't. I told her my hotel. I'm like, yeah, we staying here. We staying here. Y'all gotta, you gotta pull up. So they're like, yeah, nah, for, for real, for sure. After getting their numbers and they promised that they would meet him at the hotel, Max set himself up for failure once again. And soon he woke up in the lobby with no strippers, thousands of dollars lost and a bruised ego. With Max recently reporting that he spent over $900,000 in the span of nine months without being able to account for most of it, losing money like this could definitely lead to a problem in the future if he doesn't take care of it. To make matters worse, not even his friends from FaZe were there for him after it happened. I was drunk. I forgot she followed me. I'm not going to be able to find her. I would have to go all through the following. Yo, bro, I get back to the hotel telling these niggas, where are y'all at? Where are y'all at? Mind you, everyone had left me. They all back in bank suite. Everyone left an hour ago. I couldn't. I'm going home. I'm like, yo, yo, where y'all at? Where y'all at? They said, oh, we going to come down and get you in the lobby. Not fast enough. I wake up 10 minutes later on the hotel floor, no cap. I slept in the lobby. However, throughout this story, Max made it clear that he hadn't changed and that he was still the degenerate that his fans loved. Hey, if, if these all not gonna f me, somebody gotta make a nigga nut. Real shit. I'm sitting there, bro. I think I went to sleep and I woke up in Goon, though. Ham walks in as I'm going. Right. It's so weird, but he didn't see, though. He was knocking on the door. Nigga said, you have no shame. Nah, bro. Bro, we all live crazy lives. I'm just a nigga who's willing to share. He didn't walk in when I was going, but he was knocking, bro. But I already met his It's stories like this that shaped Black Boy Max into who he is today. His audacity to share something so humiliating has made him beloved by fans and skyrocketed his success as a streamer. This hasn't come without criticism though, as his hypersexualized content and collaborations with web stars such as Sophie Rain and Karina Kopf, who encouraged Max's young audience to goon. Thank you so much for gooning to the stream. We appreciate what it so dog? much. Dog, dog, stop gooning. Take your hands out your pants. Put him back in, put him back in. This has led some people to claim that as he gets more and more popular, Max is going to prove to be a corruptive force for the youth. Recently, it was a fellow streamer, Sneeko, who is known for his right-wing oh views, God, who took Sneeko. aim at his content and overly horny antics. Oh, oh gooning, I'm, I'm just not a fan of Sneeko, that's all, like, um... <sighs> Gooning, I'm gooning, and I'm like, you're making it cool. Gooning means jerk. oh, Sophie Rain, I'd be cooking on Twitter. Yeah. The lingo they use, they're making it cool to ma like, oh, I'm a goon, I'm gooning. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I told them what like, it means. Gooning means fucking off. Yes, it's funny that generational gap right here. These boomers are watch these streamers don't. Let's 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 double check the definition. Cause it might be, I might have been wrong with what I said earlier. Uh, I, uh, goof for dweeb. That's not right. Addictively, obsessively, no control of yourself. Person who. Okay, I, I earlier I said it was it was more akin to uh like edging or whatever. But I pet, I guess it's more. I guess it is more just like do that shit obsessively. Just nasty, bro. Care. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's all course. content. As yeah, long yeah. as they get a reaction, they do not yeah, care yeah, yeah, about yeah. getting humiliated. And so I criticize them. And Lacey and uh, Playboy, Playboy Max, the guy you like, yeah. I think he's funny too. Yeah. They're like, oh, you know, we're not putting the links, so they're only. F we're not, but the whole point of them coming on the stream is to get promote, is to get the funnel to go there. But Max took the criticism in stride and claimed that he was trying to quit gooning in his own right. Sneak has said, all oh, Sophie range, they promote gooning. He's one hundred percent right. He's 100% right. I know niggas don't like that nigga, but in terms of that, making goon and cool, that shit not cool, bro. I bring rappers on stream. These talk about terrible shit, bro. They talk about killing niggas, drugs. 
all type of crazy, crazy shit. When I have Trippy Red on, we just having fun making music, talking. When Sophie Rain came on, it was just a dating show. We was having fun. It was nothing overly sexual, pushing a bad message to people. You get what I'm saying? So I don't think it's the issue bringing on fans, girls. The issue is when I bring on girls and then they do the over, you get what I'm saying? The over the top shit. Right now, those who aren't fans of Max joining the crew would argue that his addition has only brought drama and a loss of revenue. Because as of late, the new team has been wilding out. Recently, FaZe underwent one of the biggest scandals it's experienced in recent times. After renting a house in Los Angeles for their new recruits, they've now been unceremoniously kicked out. In the process, costing their new leader and FaZe co-founder Banks money that he didn't really have. Too much to type, bro. Yeah, so we just officially got evicted from the crib. I f told these kids, man, guys, I'm about to lose my f mind. I was already overwhelmed and stressed before today, feeling like the f wheels are falling off. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. We're trying to run this sh run this sh up with no f budget, no f help. We have a ton of help from a ton of good people. I told these kids, this is all behind the scenes sh too, and then I come out looking like the bad guy. I told these f kids we're on our last strike with this crib clearly banks was at the end of his tether because the whole situation had completely ruined their upcoming plans leading to a recovering phase clan even further into the red we had so many f cool things planned for this sh and it was all going to be started building out tomorrow and we just got fully evicted from the crib effective september 1st we have to be out of the f crib Damn. this is a year lease that's broken that we paid that's up rough. front so i don't know what the f it's good with that, but that might just be a couple hundred bands down the toilet. Left out of pocket and enraged by what happened, Banks probably didn't imagine that he would feel this way at the beginning of a new era in his career. Y'all can bug Max and Jason to pitch in for a new crib. I can't keep flushing money down the toilet. Literally got one left. September was supposed to be legendary. Between the party being shut down and this, I'm seriously burnt. Love y'all, but I need a break. Among the newest members to join the crew, news of their eviction surfaced shortly after footage emerged of Plackboy Max and fellow recruit Jason Deween getting into a heated confrontation, which left their home taking most of the damage. After getting the organization screwed up by corporate snakes, FaZe are now taking a chance on people like Max, who is now one of the most popular streamers in the world to restore them to their former glory. And as mm. of right now, their investment into these youngsters is yielding massive returns. Now, you could say that the current FaZe under Banks has surpassed what they were were in the past with the new generation averaging a million dollars a month individually. If you pull that amount together, you can imagine just how much these guys are making as a collective. Although FaZe currently isn't making any money from their new streamers as stated by their CEO, their success is clearly a sign of an empire in the making. I just love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for helping bring this back to where it is. I'm so proud of this and I love you guys with everything inside. However, their empire might quickly be throttled by the unsavory antics of their star player, Blackboy Max. And at that, yo, I'm dead That's ass. Sad. I hated you at first. <laughs> because we Bro, they started to make a comeback and now what? We were in Miami, he was drunk as f with that shit ass high top. And I'm like, why the f are you so sloppy drunk in this club when you're 26? I mentioned earlier that FaZe is still in a precarious position. As reflected by their stock price, and the next year will be crucial in rebuilding their empire. All of their potential success hinges on proper execution and discipline. Because realistically, how are they going to monetize all this attention on a larger scale? Especially with FaZe Banks making it clear that he doesn't want to take a cut from his signees. The key to fixing their monetization will likely come down to something simple like sponsors. And this is exactly where Max's antics could become a liability, potentially hindering their growth. But keep in mind that Max is doing this in front of tens of thousands of live viewers, many of whom are teens and young adults with still developing brains. These viewers are highly impressionable and they might see this kind of behavior as normal and acceptable, which can lead to conflicts and messed up social cues in real life. If you pair these kind of statements with Max's unhealthy addiction, you start to paint a picture in your head of what kind of audience he's cultivating. Yo, I'm, I'm stealing your method. Not bro. a healthy one. My Oops. Oh, you that. <laughs> No, no, no. What did you just leak? What's that? No, no. There's, there's no way. <laughs> Y'all Twitch, I apologize. Wait, bro. What was that? This clip happened while he was streaming, meaning he had his tab open and was probably glancing at it in the midst of entertaining his audience. It's no wonder he comes up with the most out of pocket shit you've ever heard because he's too busy quote unquote gooning or thinking of gooning. And it's this exact thought pattern and behavior that will land him and FaZe in huge trouble with brands. Because what brand would want to be associated with the man who basically steals people's girls like he did with Max. Connie Rosie? I like that you're funny. 
<laughs> it's hard to advertise shit like that. Uh, shit like that. I mean, Twitch is already having trouble with uh, how they can advertise or who they can advertise, or Twitch is already having problems um, with advertisement in general. And as as, as uh, the Phase Clan is a company with stocks and everything, you can't really get advertisers to sign on when you have members that be acting. You know the way acting and the promoting the type of things that Phase does. Unless it's, unless you you might be able to get uh, a company like Adam and Eve or some, or some shit to to like sponsor you for like, for an event or some shit. But that's I don't know, highly doubtful. But I don't know, man. Like I, like you can, problem people are gonna be problem people. <laughs> I'm smiling. You making me you making my heart. I like that you're serious. Honestly, Maybe. I don't think, in terms of like your personality, serious. I don't think there's anything I dislike about you. How does that make you feel, Max? Nah, I, I'm just chilling. Though. Or worse, be associated with someone who sees no issue with doing something outrageous and inappropriate, like exposing himself on a friend's stream. I just saw Max. I just saw Max. Max just came in my room and showed me his ass. Max just came in my room and spread his cheeks. I just saw Max Harry. I just saw Max's Harry. Aside nasty, from the gambling bro. company's take, which has its own controversies, no reputable brand would want to be associated with Max's behavior. These aren't just edgy jokes. Max constantly flirts with crossing the line between absurdity and offensiveness. One wrong move could not only damage his reputation, but also drag FaZe down with him. Mm. While signing Blackboy Max might boost viewership, the long-term consequences could be disastrous. FaZe, which balances edginess and professionalism, may struggle to handle the fallout Max is bound to cause. It's not a question of if Max will say something controversial, it's when. As FaZe rebuilds its legacy, they'll need to decide if sticking with someone as unpredictable as Max is worth the risk. That's a good question. So if, if, if they want to like rebuild their brand and make a come up and shit like that, they might have to drop them, but would they be willing to do that? I mean, if they are in trouble and they can't get, you know, advertisers to like fuck with them, they can't get people to like co-sign with them and uh you know help them out then the, you're probably going to have to do the type of things you need to do in order to fix the issue and whether that's getting rid of phase or assigning new people or getting rid of certain people i mean not getting rid of phase but getting rid of max or, or assigning new people or giving other other streamers more attention then I don't know. It, it just comes out to be what it is. If it is what it is, it is what it is at the end of the day. And uh, yeah. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to check it out. Uh, don't forget to check out uh, Lu Luastia, Luastia <laughs> on YouTube. Link will be in the description below. Be sure to check them out as well as the link to this video. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. Uh, are you a phase uh playboy max uh play black boy max uh fan uh does he is he always like this uh, or d does he have like other you know what i'm saying because like i said before i don't know too much about him so so does is it is there any way he can make things right and help the phase clan grow or is he has he always been like this and like is, is it is shit for him doomed or whatever is he, and he's slowly falling off i don't know let me know what you think about it in the comments below uh but be sure to check out louis luasta luas luisita i don't know how to say that and uh visit their youtube channel and while you're there don't forget to do those three things i like to ask you to do and like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos yeah and you know what it is after that in case i don't see you Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace. Much love to you.